Hey guys, it's Jason here and welcome back to the channel and welcome to another video. Um, today guys, we have basically a new set of tires for the X-Max. Um, I had trenchers. Um, I was super excited when I got them. Um, was so just, honestly, when I was buying my X-Max, the trenchers were kind of a, like right along there with them type thing. Um, and I got them and I was super excited <laughs> until I drove the truck. Um, sadly, even though I'd been warned online, warned by friends, warned by other people, um, that they were just too heavy for, you know, basically a stock motor X-Max. Um, but I bought them anyways. And honestly, they, um, are a fantastic tire. The rim is amazing. The tire is amazing. You know, it's a great product, just too big and too heavy for the stock motor on an X-Max. And it made the truck not very much fun to drive. Um, I had considered lots of things. I had considered obviously changing out the whole system, motor, all that kind of stuff. But, you know, because I want this truck to be just a fun, reliable truck, I don't want to be blowing things apart all the time. Um, I've stuck with the original motor. And I mean, I've got the upgraded Max 6. You guys might have seen that video. Um, but I decided to sell the trenchers and pick these bad boys up. Um, obviously they're nowhere near as heavy as the trencher, um, or the MX, uh, 43, the, uh, Badland as well. Um, you know, they're not beadlocks, so you lose all that kind of hardware. You lose quite a bit of stuff and you lose, like I said, guys, I'm, I'm excited to drive the truck now with these because I'm really hoping that it brings the truck back. I'm hoping it's going to be fun again. Um, they're 24 millimeters, so they're direct bolt on for the X-Max, um, you need to drill out the centers if you wanted to run them on like a bigger truck, like a DBXL or a low C5T or something like that. But they would bolt up to those as well. Um, like mentioned, they're not beadlock. Um, these are, they've got a few different models. Some actually kind of look like the MX-43s. The other ones are just more of a, you know, different style of off-road tires. Um, I had saw these ones and I kind of just liked the look. Um, you know, they kind of remind me of like original Emax tires and Clodbuster tires, you know, that more monster truck look. Uh, Chevron's. Um, always seem to do well in the snow as well as just a great all-around tire um, you know they always have quite a bit of contact on the ground which is nice too so we're gonna do this video guys quicker than usual because I know if you're watching this video if, if you're new to the channel and you're watching this video you probably just want to see these on the truck um, you know there's not much of bolting them up I will take it outside and give the truck a run um, however, it is minus 20 Celsius outside here right now in where I am in Ontario, Canada, um, with like minus 25 wind chill. So I'm not going to run it for long or, um, one, it's just cold and two plastic becomes very, very brittle and it's going to break easy. So I'm going to bolt these things up right now so we can get right into it. And, uh, well, I want to see how this looks. So let's check it out. All right, guys, I wanted to weigh it first. So coming in at one pound, 10.5 ounces. Now let's compare that to the trencher. All right, guys, now it's time for the trencher. And the trencher comes in at 2.26 ounces. So definitely a lot heavier. All right, guys, so obviously you guys can see the trencher weighs more. It was two point, whatever it was, 2.6 ounces, two pounds, 2.6 ounces. So what I thought instead of, you know, doing the minus and saying, hey, this is actually what it is. I thought I would show you guys visually the difference. So here you got the hatchet X coming in at 1 point, uh, 10.5 ounces. And we're at 2.31 ounces. So again, stock trencher was 2.26. Hatchet with two tires off my 6x6 is 2.31. So in a sense, guys, I mean, I know this isn't perfect, but it's kind of like adding two more tires to each corner of weight, um, of everything. So you can see, you know, I, I hope the guys are kind of understanding what I'm trying to do here. It's, it's just showing the difference and, and by changing just something as different as just the tires, you know, it's almost like having an extra eight of these on the truck weight wise. Plus you got the mass, you got the, you know, the, the, the height of the tires and all that kind of stuff. Um, so again, guys, I'm super excited to get this thing outside. Um, I'm going to bolt them up now so you guys can see how she looks. All right, guys, I got them mounted up. Um, they look good. I love the black. I love the all black versus the uh, gray beadlock ring on the uh, Pro Lines. I know you can dye them and all that stuff. I actually have dye 
right there that I never got around to using. Um, definitely changes the look of the truck. Uh, the trenchers were so big and they were wide and tall. Um, you know, but I like this look too. It's, um, you know, they're skinnier. They might be the same height. I didn't measure my trenchers when I was done. I could probably just check online, but um, it's definitely a different look, but I like it. Um, what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to take the truck outside. And like I said, guys, it's super cold out, so I'm going to do just a quick little run. Um, I probably should say um, truck's running a Robinson Racing 18 tooth and a Hot Racing 52 spur. Uh, spur. Um, and it's got a max six uh, punch, I think is three or four. It's nothing. It's I know it's not cranked up or anything like that. Um, but I'm also guys running the 2085 X servo in here as well. So it does have the upgraded servo. That was kind of a must have with the trenchers because it wouldn't even turn them on the table. Um, so what I'm gonna do guys is I'm just gonna take it outside. I'm just gonna take it for a quick little run, grab a couple of pictures um, and uh, come back in and tell you guys what I think. All right, guys, so we're back inside, and uh, yes, I'm very, very, very pleased with these tires. Um, even in that quick little run, the truck felt like a, a brand new truck. It, you know, it honestly felt like um, going from a 6S X Max to an 8S X Max. Just made it so much more uh, fun to drive. Um, I think, you know, with the tires being smaller and skinnier and the, obviously that servo upgrade, um, the truck felt more nimble. It, it turned more and stuff. It turned, it turned quicker. Um, I could, you guys probably noticed during the video, I was doing that a lot, um, with the tires just cause I wanted you guys to see the difference and, and see how it turns with, again, that's the servo. It's the 2085 X and these tires. Um, the one thing guys, with it being so cold, 
is everything is really hard out there. So, you know, the snow has no give. Um, so it wasn't, you know, the perfect conditions to run them, but I wanted, I was excited to get it out. I wanted to show you guys how they were. And I can tell you guys just, again, from my um, experience with these, and then when I was running the trenchers, this is night and day. Um, very happy that I did it. I thought the truck looked great with those tires on it. Um, and I'm, I'm definitely guys happy to, and I'm, and I'm happy that I made the switch. Um, it sucks that I did it now because here in Canada, those trenchers were, I think 330 Canadian and these were 180 Canadian and I sold my trenchers today for 175 Canadian. So yeah, so the math isn't very good there, but whatever. Um, one thing guys have not even mentioned and it's because I really, um, it wasn't the reason behind getting these tires was, um, these are belted tires. So unlike, um, you know, normal tires that'll balloon, these will not. Um, I'm, I'm a, you know, the kind of guy that, you know, I find pluses to both. Um, obviously belted tires handle a lot better, you know, because they're not ballooning when you're ripping down the street. And I even kind of noticed a bit of that today when I was driving it, I noticed the difference. Um, sorry, I noticed the difference in driving it, um, when you don't get that ballooning. One thing I... I like ballooning tires sometimes for the fact that, you know, for jumping and back flips and front flips, they can help. Um, but honestly, guys, making the switch to these was definitely worth it. I'm very, very happy with them. Um, as long as they hold up now and, and stay on the rim and don't tear and don't have any issues, I will not be, um, I won't be able to say anything bad about them because so far, guys, I really, really like them. And like I said, I like the look. Um, Duratrax has lots of other styles of the uh, fifth scale 24 millimeter um, wheels and tires. Uh, some look like the Badlands 43. Some are just, just again, off-road style tire tires. Uh, there's even, uh, I think, a set of on-roads. Um, and again, guys, like I mentioned earlier, I just like these. I kind of like, you know, they're a little bit of a different style for the truck. Um, but anyways, guys, as always... Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, you can give me a thumbs up and even subscribe. Um, for anybody that's been on the channel before, and if you've been watching it all of my Armour Crate and Build, uh, good news. The last of my parts are finally in. Um, those are all the little parts for the truck. And I've got the motor. Um, the only thing I'm really guys missing right now is actually the Max 6 for it. But I may rob the Reaper right now and take the one out of there for it. I don't know. But anyways, guys. Um, again, thanks for watching and enjoy the picks.